Um, good morning, everybody. I would like to welcome you to the Saudi Embassy today. Uh, what I was uh, going to do is provide you a briefing with uh, about the uh, major uh, public awareness campaign that is currently taking place in Saudi Arabia to deal with the issue of extremism and terrorism in our country. Um, Saudi Arabia, as you know, over the past few years has been uh, locked in battle with terrorists and extremists. We believe, uh, as I have said before, that this battle must be waged simultaneously on, on three fronts. The first one is to go after the terrorists, to pursue them with vigor, to capture or kill their leaders, to disrupt their supplies, to capture their arms caches, um, to unravel the, their safe houses, to prevent them from recruiting our youth. And we have been very successful in doing so. Um, as you know, we have captured or killed 18 of the 26 most wanted terrorists on our, on the, on our most wanted list. And we will continue to do so. Our security services are acquiring increasingly sophisticated capabilities and expertise in pursuing the terrorists. Um, and we believe that we have the terrorists on the run. And God willing, in time, we will eradicate the scourge from our kingdom. The second front in the war on terrorism involves the financi financing of terrorism. And in this area, as you I probably know, Saudi Arabia has Im implemented strict financial control mechanisms in our banking system. We have regulated our charities. We have implemented the 40 recommendations of the Financial Action Task Force with regards to money laundering and the eight recommendations with regards to terror financing. We, have, uh, we are in the process of setting up one national entity through which all charitable activity outside Saudi Arabia will be conducted. And until that entity is up and running, uh, no Saudi charity is allowed to send one real outside the kingdom without strict government oversight. We have also banned the collection of cash contributions in our mosques and public spaces, which I believe no other country in the world has done. So we believe that on the financial front, Saudi Arabia has done more than what probably any other country in the world has done. Which brings me to the third element of the third front in the battle of terrorism, which is the most complicated one, and that is going after the mindset that promotes or condones extremism or violence in, in a way that is contradictory to the teachings of our Islamic faith uh, or the traditions of, of Saudi Arabia. We have, in this area, adopted a long-term program as well as short-term programs. Uh, we have reviewed our educational curriculums. We have removed materials that are insightful or intolerant towards uh, people of other faiths. We are introducing new teaching methods. We are training our public school teachers in uh, adapting new uh, teaching methods so that we can introduce critical thinking and produce students that are world class. Um, we have put in place better monitoring of our mosques and our religious schools to ensure that they are not used to promote intolerance uh, or to condone violence. And the Ministry of Islamic Affairs has dismissed a large number of imams who have strayed as well as uh, sent a number of those imams to schools for retraining in terms of tolerance and so forth. What I wanted to talk to you about today is our latest effort, a campaign, in, the, in, in our attempts to reach out to our people and to explain to them that extremism and, and terrorism are not part of our faith, that there is a human cost associated with it, um, and that in, and we do so in order to try to inoculate them or isolate them uh, from those who try to uh, uh, deceive them into taking actions that are con contrary to the teachings of Islam or the teachings of human values, universal human values, regardless of, of where one happens to be. The campaign I'm about to explain to you was launched with the International Counterterrorism Conference that was held in Riyadh February 5 to February 8. It is a vast campaign. I believe it is unprecedented. It involves uh, a number of our ministries, such as the Ministry of Information, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of um, <clears throat> Interior, the Ministry of Islamic Affairs, the General Presidency for Youth Welfare. It is multifaceted. It includes um, the production of documentaries that talk about uh, the history of extremism and terrorism in the region as well as in Saudi Arabia and its impact on people. It, is, it includes talk shows where we bring in our youth to discuss issues of the day. Uh, it includes television advertisements. It includes cartoons that are designed to appeal to the very young. It includes um, billboard advertising, some of which you see here in our, in our auditorium that you see all over Saudi cities. It includes lectures and discussions 
uh, at schools and mosques throughout the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, promoting tolerance, uh, discrediting the views of the extremists, um, educating people about the true meaning of our Islamic faith, which is a faith of compassion, peace, mercy, and love. Um, and it also includes television ads, advertisements that are running um, on all of the Saudi TV stations, as well as a number of uh, Arabic satellite stations with large audiences in Saudi Arabia, such as the Middle East Broadcasting Center, Al Arabiya, Future Television, and I believe others. And this is not a small campaign. The TV advertisements, for instance, are running up to 25 times a day. This campaign will, will last several weeks. We are in the midst of it. The campaign even includes ATM machines and text messages and utility bills. So if you go to a Saudi bank and you want to withdraw cash out of your ATM, you will get a message that basically says, say no to terrorism. Not exactly those words, but, but the objective is this. Um, and I wanted to give you a preview of what it is that we are doing, because I believe over the past few years, Saudi Arabia has been criticized unfairly um, as not doing enough to promote tolerance and to fight e extremism or to fight the mindset that fosters or that, that tries to recruit people towards um, uh, taking acts that are incompatible with our uh, faith or our customs or our traditions. If you'll allow me um, and bear with me, this will not take too long. We would like to show you um, a series of the TV spots that are, that are being done. Television advertising uh, advertisements are done in three phases. We will show you one example of each phase. Each phase has several different ads in it, but to just give, illustrate the point, the um, first phase, which is designed to uh, personify and, and humanize the victims of terrorism, um, is, uh, is our first clip. And this is one that shows a, uh, a father who lost his son through terrorism. So if we could play that for our audience, I would appreciate it. The um, subtitles, the ad advertisements are all running in Arabic, so the subtitles were for your benefit only. Um, the second phase of the campaign is designed to reinforce the first phase, as well as make it clear that terrorism and extremism are not a part of our faith, culture, or society. And I would like to show you a, an example of the, a, a, one of the advertisements that are running as in the second phase of this campaign. So if we could go ahead and, and play that also.